Welcome back, YCN Sports Talk, Jeremy Stout, Dave Collins, and Dave, as promised, getting over to uh, the baseball diamond. With snow on the ground. Yeah, right, sure. win winter meetings in full swing uh, down in Washington, D.C., and the Red Sox, among many teams, m making some, some trades and some acquisitions, but the Red Sox, probably the biggest story. They finally got their man, Chris Sale, as many of you have seen and heard so far. That's not a secret. They tried at the, be at the middle of the season, didn't get him, but now the package was just too good to pass up. What jersey is he going to wear? Hopefully the right one. He doesn't cut it up. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, I, I think it's a huge signing for the Red Sox. The only thing that I worry about is if some of that head case stuff Right, and that's comes been, been, been talked about. But he's going to give you strikeouts. He's going to give you innings. And I guess the right. biggest question is, even though we haven't seen a day of spring training yet, and that's a couple of months off, who, for you, let me ask you this question. Who gets the ball? on the mound for game one. Is it Porcello? Is it Price? Right. Porcello, Cy Young winner, Price, you spend millions of dollars for, hasn't won a playoff game, or is it going to be Sale? I, I, I don't know who they have. Who would you like to see get it? I think I'd see Chris Sale on there. Give okay. him, get, throw, him right in, throw him right into the fire. Okay. Let him go at it. I mean, we saw David Price do that last year. Obviously, Porcello uh, had the better season, but you know, give, give Chris Sale that opportunity to say, here's what we paid you for. I mean, no, it wasn't a lot of money, but we mm -hmm. gave him a lot of prospects. And get used to this. You go out there in the first inning and give up a couple of runs, you're going to get booed. And get him used to this pressure. And, and, and getting into that pressure part, it'll be interesting to see if Price bounces back after a tough year. Porcello, ha that happened to him. Beckett, it happened years ago. So yeah. hopefully it doesn't happen to you Sale. Know, but this is, I'm going to sidetrack here. One of the things we should talk about for next show, what's the toughest place to play in? Via sports. Right. You know, I think for, for Philadelphia, where I come from, oh, yeah. it's, it's for the Eagles. <laughs> yeah. If you're playing for the Eagles, you need to perform. Right. Yankees, too. Red Sox, I think. Patriots, maybe second. But I, I think he's got a good head on his shoulders if he can stay contained. Yeah. Because he can focus. Now, what I do worry about maybe is his arm a little bit because he's got that awkward delivery. Yes, that's been talked about a lot as well, that the delivery and the mechanics. So I'm, I'm hoping that the doctors and the scouts and the specialists took a good look at that and figured it was worth it. But let's get into some of the prospects. They gave up Yohan Mankata and Michael Kopech, plus two other prospects. One of them was a top ten for the Red Sox. Do you have any problem with that? I know you're not a Red Sox fan, but looking at it from a standpoint of giving up you know, Dave Dombrowski has come in and really cleared out this farm system. They have some good players, but... Well, they also signed their manager, John Farrell, for yeah, 2017 and 2018. Yep. So that's telling me, okay, Farrell, we're giving you what you wanted or what we hope you want. Right, and so we're here giving you, go. you a chance to not be a lame duck and not be questioned every single move. So they're setting up where you got to win. Here you go. Right. It's right there. Can yeah. Price come through? Can Porcello perform like he did last season? Right. And, and uh, another trade, getting uh, the reliever Tyler Thornburg from the Brewers for Travis Shaw. So it looks like Sandoval, they're ready for him at third base. It is. And I thought that it would have been a nice move for the Red Sox to pick up Carlos Beltran after the yes. Yankees, keep him in the American League, maybe as a DH. And he also probably could have babysat Panda and Hanley Ramirez, too. Yep. Because those two might go off the – you know, those three, Panda, Hanley, and Chris Sale – they, they might be either the three amigos or the three stooges come July if the Red right. Sox aren't doing very well. And, and, and the Red Sox also signing Mitch Moreland, who will probably play mm -hmm. first base, which kind of wonders, makes me wonder, you, you know, the, it was talk Hanley was playing first base and he was engaged in the games. He liked yep. that. Now you're going to put him at DH, and does that kind of take him away, and will he get distracted? Is, is that Ramirez going to act like the old Ramirez right, that exactly. was here there 10 years go. ago? All right, we'll switch over to your Yankees, and uh, uh, will they get Chapman? He wants six years, $90 million or no something? Thanks. But no. is he going to get that? No. Right. So will they end up kind of meeting at that I four so. years, seventy-five million, or what? You know, I, I think don't know he's. Why. I, I'm always concerned about somebody that throws 102 miles an hour for 10 pitches in a row that he's going to break down. He was fine in New York. We saw what he did when he got to the Cubs. He's worth the most money for any reliever, I think, right now in the ball game. But ninety million is. I'd love to see that chunk of change. You know what I mean? Just give me half of one percent yeah, of that. Just a little bit. Right. So okay. So now it looks like the Yankees though should be second in the American League East because it looks like the Blue Jays maybe taking a half step back. Wherever Encarnacion goes. Right. Orioles. They're still up in the air. I know they get they got some pieces and the Rays terrible. So it's the Red Sox and Yankees. We're gonna fight for number one. But now the Red Sox took. You a know, step. I look back and it. Tampa Bay should have never gotten rid of Joe Madden. I mean, that was the one thing that they had going for them. Right. They didn't have many name players. Yeah, they had Price. Yeah, they had a couple. They had Longoria. But, but Joe Madden, like, made that team and made that area. And I think, unfortunately, Tampa Bay is going to be ir irrelevant for the next couple of seasons. Okay, so going back to the American League as a whole and the Red Sox, 
They have to win a World Series in the next two, three years because this is where they're this set up. This is what it's built Betts, for, yeah. Bogarts, Bradley, they're all there. Yep. And now they've got some talent who's ready to go, and they need to win. This is now. it. Now. Yeah, right now. All right. No excuses. No excuses. I like it. Farrell's the guy to do it. Chris Sale, David Price, and Rick Porcello on the mound. It'll be interesting to see what they do with the back end of that rotation. Pomeranz and Buckholtz, see if they stick around. Where's Kimbrell? <laughs> Well, hopefully he'll be having a better year in the bullpen, not blowing as many saves. We'll take a break. We'll come right back. Final segment. We've got some local talk and our picks uh, tied it up last week. So our NFL picks coming up as well. Thanks, Jets. You're watching YCN Sports Talk.